Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. I'm Amy Darley and today's video is my summer morning routine as a stay-at-home mom of two school-aged kids. Come hang out with me as I take you through a typical summer morning. So this video was filmed on a Tuesday summer morning. I woke up at 6.45. It was beautiful, but it was definitely a little muggy outside because it had rained all night. And my son, Kaysen, who's 12, he was supposed to have football workouts this morning, but they actually got canceled because of the rain. So we did get to sleep a little bit later. Usually on football mornings, we have to leave the house around 7.15 a.m. So we get up a little bit earlier. But first thing in the morning, I always go into the bathroom, brush my teeth, put my contacts in, and then I will make my bed if my daughter did not climb in the bed in the middle of the night. But if she did, then I will just let her sleep and I will actually make my bed after she wakes up. So my daughter, Gracie June, is almost 10 and she still gets in our bed almost every single night at about one or two o'clock in the morning. But this happened to be a day where she did stay in her bed all night long. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump on making the bed first thing this morning. Next, I head into the kitchen, grab a huge glass of ice water and take my vitamins. I actually used to take my vitamins in the afternoon, but I got really bad about forgetting to take them, so I decided to incorporate them into my morning routine. And I'm super excited because I'm partnering with Care Of for today's video. I actually shared them a few years ago, and I'm excited that they reached out to work with me again. Care Of is a subscription service that ships high quality, personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders to your door every single month based on your needs. I love using Care Of for my vitamins because they're so convenient. They get shipped straight to my door in these cute little pre-built packages and my vitamins are all personalized to my needs. Now I love this company because I'm not super knowledgeable about vitamins and what I need to be taking specifically for my health goals, but they have a short little quiz on their website that you can take and it asks you about your lifestyle, your health goals, and then you get a doctor backed recommendation on what supplements would be best for you. So my personal pack is focused on energy and performance and then of course overall health. Vitamins seriously make a huge difference in the way I feel each day and also keeping my energy levels up. I love the fact that Care Of is personalized to each person based on their individual needs. Care Of also has a product guide which is full of all of the information on specific supplements benefits, their quality, and sourcing too if you'd like to check that out. So if you'd like to try Care Of, you can actually get 50% off your first Care Of order if you go to TakeCareOf.com and enter code DARLY50. So that's TakeCareOf.com and the code is DARLY50. And I'll make sure to leave the link in my description box too. Next, I'm just doing a little ice roller on my face. I got this ice roller off of Amazon for like nine bucks and I use it almost every single day unless I'm like in a hurry and just running out the door. But I love it. It takes all that puffiness away from my face and it also just makes me feel a little bit more awake in the mornings. Now this is one of the main reasons I try to get up every single morning before seven o'clock and before my kids wake up is because I like to get my devotional time in when it's quiet in the house and I'm reading the book Famous in Heaven and at Home. This was actually a book that I borrowed from a friend. She has already gone through and done this entire book and she recommended it to me. So I'm borrowing it and I'm on day 10. It has been so good. And it basically is going through Proverbs 31. So if you would like to check this book out, I'll make sure to link it below. Now at this time, if my kids are still sleeping, then I will typically head into the office, work a little bit on the computer, do some planning, things like that. But on this day, my kids had woken up about the same time I was finishing up my devotional. So I went ahead and started breakfast. I've been doing these microwavable bacon packs. They're definitely more expensive than getting a regular pack of bacon but 
These you just throw them in there for about two and a half minutes and it cooks and then you just peel the package open and you've got your bacon. And then there's also not a whole lot of mess to clean up. Now I love using these packs of bacon because it comes in a pack of four and so this is perfect for my kids. But if I'm cooking for the entire family then I will definitely get the regular bacon out and we'll cook a lot more in the oven and that's our favorite way to cook bacon. But with their bacon this morning, I am making a little bit of eggs. Gracie June likes cheese on hers, so I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese on hers. Kaysen does not like cheese on his eggs. And then some toast for Kaysen as well. And I don't necessarily cook the same breakfast every single morning. Sometimes they have cereal, sometimes they have muffins. We just kind of switch it up. And today happened to be some eggs, bacon, and toast. After the kids are done eating, they go ahead and do their devotions for the day. And Gracie June's is actually a little book that's all about creation, answers for kids. So it's not necessarily a devotional. But then Kaysen does his devotional. And then I am showing you their summer reading books. So some days they'll go ahead and start on their summer reading. But other days, like if they did happen to have practice in the mornings, then they'll typically do their summer reading books in the afternoons. And then after that, after they're done with their devotional, they head upstairs and they start making their bed, brushing their teeth, getting dressed, all the things. While they're doing that, I actually head back into my room and get myself ready for the day. So on this particular day, I actually had some errands to run in the afternoon. So I went ahead and got ready. I did my skincare routine, put some makeup on, did my hair, which didn't take very long because it was already done from the day before and I just kind of had to recurl it. But I just basically got ready, threw on a casual outfit, so that way when we were ready to leave in the afternoon, I was ready to go. So in case you're wondering about my skincare, I'm still using the Dime Beauty. I did order some skincare from Saint, which is the makeup brand that I use, just to try out. And so far, I've tried out the toner and the milk cream, which I love both of them. This is the milk cream here, so I'm kind of using a mixture. I use the Dime Beauty cleanser and the Dime Beauty toner right there. And then I'm using the Saint Milk Cream, which is like a moisturizer. Now, I don't wear makeup every single day, but since I'm going to be running some errands, I decided to go ahead and throw some makeup on. And also, since I've been using Saint Beauty, it literally takes me like five minutes to do my makeup in the mornings. And I just feel so much more put together. So I'm going to show you my very quick makeup routine. This is all of my makeup in this one compact. So I've got my foundation, concealer, contour, bronzer, eyeshadows, literally everything except for my mascara and this one palette. And you're gonna see, I don't like a very heavy makeup look. I like just a simple, natural look, but a little bit more put together than obviously what I look like when I wake up in the mornings. And to be completely honest, before using this makeup, I had no clue what I was doing with makeup. I was so intimidated but I followed just some videos with a step-by-step -step little, this is where you put your dots. And so here you can see, I'm just kind of dotting my face up and then I'll blend it all out and it looks so good. And my makeup is not caked on in layers all over my face. So my skin feels great. It stays on all day. I just love this makeup so much that I'm gonna be sharing this forever. <laughs> So here you can see I'm just blending all of these colors together and it kind of looks like you have a filter on once you're done. Now I know I've been talking about this makeup for a while and you're probably sick of hearing about it if you've already heard me talk about it, but I will say because I'm someone who was just never confident with makeup until I was almost 37 years old, I want everyone to know about how much this makeup has been a game changer for me. So if you're like me, and you just don't know where to start with makeup, you get overwhelmed by all the different products, the brands that people are sharing online, or you just want something simple, quick, and all-in-one compact, then I will have a link in my description box so that you can get connected and I can actually help you pick out your shades for your skin tone. You can also DM me on Instagram or text me at the number that's in my description box.
So once I'm done with my makeup, I just set it with a little setting spray, which I've also never used before, and I love it. I love the way it makes my face feel. I love the way my skin looks, and it's just great. So now I'm moving on to doing my hair. I'm spraying in a little bit of dry shampoo, and then I'm just recurling my hair from yesterday. I actually blow dried my hair after I got done with the shower and curled my hair yesterday and then just slept on it and just brushed it out and I'm recurling it today. So it takes me like five minutes. Okay, so today's outfit is just a pair of jean shorts that are actually from Old Navy from like a year ago, a Walmart t-shirt that I found, and the jean shorts, I do think that they have that same um, style, just not the wash that I have on, so I'll link the shirt and the shorts. I'm using the Dime Beauty Perfume, and now I'm going to go start a load of laundry because laundry is never ending in my house, and we have to do at least one to two loads every single day. Now that I've got some laundry going, I'm gonna go ahead and fold this load of laundry that's actually been sitting in my dryer since yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this, put it away. And while I'm starting on this, the kids are doing their summer reading and both of their books are a little bit different and I kind of wanted them to be reading about the same amount of time. And so Kaysen's chapters are a lot longer. So we decided that he needed to read 10 pages a day and then for Gracie June, we just did it by chapters because her chapters are a little bit shorter, and so she has to do a chapter a day. Now, I do wanna say that I love making these routine videos, but I also wanna point out the fact that we're not perfect and our routine does not necessarily happen this way every single day. There are kinks in our routine and things come up or our schedule changes. Um, my kids have sports, so it's kind of crazy because some days Kaysen has football in the morning, some days Gracie June has cheer in the mornings, some days we're also picking up groceries in the mornings. So this might get broken up a little bit here and there. Um, this is just kind of the routine that I set in place that I would hope to have done every single morning, but it's not on a specific time schedule, um, things change, and we just kind of adjust as we go. But I do like having a routine and my kids knowing what to expect in the mornings and having certain things in place just because I feel like summer is so crazy anyways. And so having a little bit of a routine just makes it to where we're not necessarily laying around and on screens all day and don't have any order at all during the summer. Okay, so now I've got that laundry put away and I'm just gonna tidy up the downstairs. I try to do this at least once a day. Usually it's in the morning. And so I'm just tidying up here in the living room and then I will clean up in the kitchen. Now my kids also have a chore chart that they do and they don't typically do this in the mornings. Usually it's just kind of random. So some days they'll help me do certain things in the mornings or I might have them go do something upstairs like clean the playroom or um, wipe down the bathroom counters, things like that. But I just kind of tell them when I want them to do things. Now, making their bed is every single morning and that's on their chore chart and part of their routine. But the others, I just kind of assign them as it needs to be done. They go do their chore and then they put a dot on their chore chart. And I did share their chore charts. I have a free printable and everything. So if you didn't see my summer prep with me video, Go check out that video and it'll explain their entire chore chart. It'll give you several different printables in case you wanna use those with your kids. Okay, moving into the kitchen to tidy up and clean in here. And this is where we hang out a lot. And 
Here you can see I'm actually putting away Chance's computer, which Kaysen was using the other day because he decided that he wanted to do a YouTube channel all about wiffle ball tournaments. So he named his YouTube channel Front Yard Wiffle Ball and him and Chance went outside. He set up his phone to use to record and they actually created their own wiffle ball strike zone, their own fence, and they set it all up in the front yard and even videoed their little one versus one wiffle ball game. And so Chance actually had his computer out and so Kaysen wanted to edit his video. So I showed him a few little tips and tricks using iMovie, how to edit, like just the basics. And he went through and edited his entire video and then Chance did help him like figuring out how to put music on and everything like that. But he did his entire video. I'm so proud of him. I was actually shocked that he was so into it, but he edited it and uploaded it to YouTube, started his own little channel and they have that video up on their channel. They actually filmed another video too. He just hasn't edited it yet, but it's basically just going to be them doing these one versus one or three versus three wiffle ball tournaments in our front yard, which I think is so funny, but I love the fact that, you know, he's passionate about it, at least for now. He may want to do something else a year from now, but I just think it's funny because he does like to watch that kind of stuff, like baseball or wiffle ball games on YouTube. So I just love that it gives him something fun to do, but also he's not sitting around playing video games, you know, so he's getting active, but then he's also able to edit those videos and post them and him and his friends are going to do some videos together. So that'll be a lot of fun to see how they do this over the summer. So I'm almost done cleaning here in the kitchen, and since I was done before my robot vacuum went off, then I'm just going to let my robot vacuum do the vacuuming for me. Now, if for some reason I don't get to cleaning the kitchen until after my robot vacuum is done, then I will pull out my cordless vacuum and at least vacuum here in the kitchen in the breakfast area because obviously I'm like wiping crumbs all over the floor and all of that. But I am grateful to have a robot vacuum that will go around and do most of the work for me every single day. So by this time, it's almost lunchtime and my entire morning routine is done. During the summer, the kids actually start playing with neighborhood friends around this time or we go to the pool or do some other summer activity. And on this day, Gracie June actually went to play with a friend and then Kaysen and a bunch of his neighborhood buddies played wiffle ball in the front yard and had a water balloon fight. While they were hanging out with friends, I ended up getting some editing done on the computer. I filmed a few reels for Instagram, and then I also worked on getting some color matches done for the Saint makeup that I shared earlier. And then later in the day, we went and ran some errands, and then Gracie June had cheer practice in the evening. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing our summer morning routine and hanging out with me today. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and say hey in the comments. And then don't forget to check out Care Of if you're looking for a great vitamin routine for yourself. I hope you all have an amazing week and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.